Good day guys, being here. Um, so today we're going to try this one. Um, so th this one's quite simple. We can um, we can use wall, just basic wall to uh, create this one. This okay. So uh, let's uh, start. So let's create. Uh, uh, let's start with this uh, architecture te template, and uh, so maybe we can just do it in 3D view. Okay, so uh, I'll show you a s s some you know slightly different way. Um, so first, I'll just do a wall W A. So maybe we can just use a generic a generic wall. So uh, one option is we can can't really see it here, but I assume that you know go in and then go and go yeah come out right. So um, we can just do it individually. So let's assume this is uh, roughly uh, twenty seven three meter. So this is roughly four four point five. This make it, make it maybe a six meter overall height. So let's do a first wall. Uh, um, um, 4.5 I think <laughs> so I like to use uh, I don't like to use unconnected height just per, per uh, like my preference uh, okay so we can just do a wall right so so for, oh, actually uh, yeah first option is we can just draw these walls just manually right so go down, up there okay so this is it and then we can just place so now we have this wall go in you know perpendicular yeah this one come up and then this one so then we need to just the easiest way is just add another wall on top of this so usually you don't you can't copy up but you can press shift to just enforce uh, copy one up you know and that's and then this time I'll change this and I'll still use the ground floor with you know because I know it's uh, these are 45 uh, to, at the top so and then this one I'll change to ground floor with 6 meter okay so and then I'll just use extend trim extend pick that edge of the wall pick this wall and that's it now we can use join geometry and get rid of the line between them okay so and then so uh, in here uh, looks like this need to be shorter. This wall need to be shorter. So you can select both wall. So I can see with this. It, so if you select one, this uh, this is a, it's a solid uh, dot, which means on, when you drag this dot, only just one. But if you select both, it become a you know empty. Uh, what do we call this a dot? And then, and then we can you can adjust this. You know, right? And then to we can just drag this up, just maybe make it three meter uh, base offset, so we have a three meter high opening. And then I uh, might want to close this bit as well, so we can just do a ceiling. So I'll just use a plan ceiling. Maybe I'll just check. Let me check. Okay, actually I want to match the material of this wall, uh, which. I believe it's um, finished. So uh, let's have a look. Edit type. That's it. I'll Control C and go to ceiling. I'll use sketch and use pick wall. And then one, two, three, four. Trim TR. And just want uh, just make sure. So this I want to pick this side, this side of the wall, instead of the other side. Okay, so everything else is good. So now we can just finish this, and then we need to adjust the height. So I want this one to match the height of the wall. Just change it to three point six. Oh, hang on, it's four point five meter. And then uh, I'll just go to edit type. I want to just duplicate, maybe create a new one, and I'll edit. I'll just get rid of this. And I'll uh, just change this one to the f match to the finish to match that uh, material. Maybe I just make it 
10 mil that would be fine click OK click OK so now we just need to so this is 10 mil for TL you can see the thickness of the th ceiling so I'll just use uh, AL align to just uh, um, increase the height of the wall by 10 mil so it match the uh, this ceiling so uh, because I wanted to use joint geometry so this way we can get rid of the line between so uh, yeah so this is it oh hell so we still see this maybe we need to use joint geometry oh. yeah so it's gone it's, looks like it's still there but it's actually it's gone yeah because uh, because of the same material and this is it so very simple right so you just create a wall lower wall and upper wall and join them together and also because we used um, we used pick wall when we create when we create this ceiling so the ceiling will always follow so you can see oh, adjust this wall no problem so adjust this wall so all everything will follow you can even you know drag drag uh, select these two wall and then drag this point right so you can even do some angle yeah no problem at all okay so this is one and i'll show you a slightly slightly different way so uh so the second method cs create similar so i'll just do another one so this time so you can actually do this so do a you know lower wall so match the height of this opening right and then we can just use split sl split so now i'll just do because i know that we uh, we need one two three four right so just roughly one two three and four okay and then we go there select two of the wall two walls and see this uh, circle little circle and i'll just drag this one to so it prepared this wall is perpendicular with uh, to this wall oh, it's, oh sorry it's not <laughs> yeah you need to drag this back yeah i can't really see actually let, let's just click on top yeah that's better so it's just like a floor plan and then select this drag it to here and that's it see it's e it's e even faster and then we can just increase the uh, height of base offset to three meter and then again so we can just copy this wall up okay so i'll just cc press shift just copy another wall up and change this one uh, let, let's just drag this to match that wall uh doesn't work that's fine i'll use a line to you know align the yeah to match the height and that's it and then again just exp exp uh, extend join and that's it and the ceiling will be uh, the same so we can just create a ceiling there um okay so and also another another way so this time instead of create lower and up we're going to create just one more so cs create a wall so this time i'll use ground floor to six meter so the overall height right so just roughly match this okay so match this so we can see this this is the overall wall, uh, wall height now first i want to use split on the side of the wall so you can split split this wall vertically so you can see you can pick a height 4.5 meter now we have a up wall lower wall and on the low wall we split again okay so and then we just do this one two uh three and four and it, we, we can do the same i'll just go to the top again so because it's easier to do it you know from the top and then uh, we might need to yeah select these two and then go back to top again because if we select more than two it won't work so if we select more than oh actually it works still work see you can select this one two three wall and we can adjust these two points 
Yeah, and this is this is it, and then we can just join them back, right? So I think this is the easiest way, uh, and we can just quickly CS create similar pick a wall and pick these four trim. Just switch this on the other side. Trim this. Just uh, maybe we need to yeah flip again. Finish. Change to three six. Oh sorry, four five. That's it. Maybe I just lift these walls up a little bit. So, oops. And then we can just use join geometry. And that's it. Okay, so this is it. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to. Uh, oh hell, yeah, that's fine because we uh, because we use a split uh, on this wall, so. It will always change this one to unconnected. You can always change it back. So for example, I can change it back to uh, ground floor with 4.5 meter off offset. Yeah, these are fine. And this is it. Oh, hang on, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll use a line again. So, and this is it. Uh, it also works. Uh, <coughs> it also works if it's curved. So I'll just quickly show you. So if I we do a start ends radius arc, start from here. Oh, do a curved. And uh, oh, yeah. Let me just do a full six meter, and I'll just try to split uh, at a four point five. So where's my height? Where's the height? Uh, can't say. Ah, oh, interesting. When I, when we try to see, you can you can see the height here, right? But it, when if it's a uh, curved, can't say. It. But that's fine. We can just pick split it, and then we, we only need to change the top of the lower wall. So I just do. 4.5 and also it will also change the upper wall as well okay so that's all good and then then we we uh, I don't think it works uh, the same way as you know these uh, straight walls so you can see we we can't we can't uh, drag these points right so I guess we just need to you know delete them and then we can just uh, maybe just use this one cs create similar so it matched the height of those walls i can't see the wall here maybe uh, yeah you actually can see you can snap onto the end maybe just uh, perpendicular to that oh sorry wrong one need to be a straight wall maybe just go can't really tell maybe here and then go here okay see we have uh, yeah, we have this similar but curved curved wall instead of a, a straight wall, and then the ceiling will be the same. CS create similar, and then just pick wall and trim. Now, in we can't we can't trim this because they won't you know intersect. So we need to flip it and then trim. Okay, so these need to be. Yeah, so flip into the internal face of the wall. I'll just use that wall. To, oh, sorry, use that wall to match. And maybe I'll just also match the height of the walls and then join them. Okay, so then this is it. So very simple exercise. But yeah, I think uh, uh, I hope uh, you learn something from this okay so that's all thanks uh if you have any questions please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye